the restoration work at, at, at uh, Dominican when I did all the, the from the old building when it burned down. Um, I had to take those windows apart, and of course they make sense when they're they're in uh, all together. But when you start pulling things apart, um, now you've got a giant puzzle. So I put a piece of uh, heavy bond paper over it, make a tracing, and then lay all the pieces on that. So um, I started doing stained glass for him. really great opportunities to not only do the woodworking, but whenever a glass job would come in, I could just sub out and do the glass. I had the best of both worlds. It was just a fluke. It worked out very nicely. Now, are you working on a repair right now on the weld, or is that a... Yeah, this is a real Tiffany lamp shade that uh, um, these people have, and the lady was vacuuming and caught it with her elbow right off the table. It bent the frame, it was all bent, and there was probably about 30 pieces of broken glass in here, so my job is to um, take out the broken glass and replace it with the best I could find, and match it, match it, and then put it all back together. So this is the final, I'm just doing the final stage of it. Have you done a Tiffany mat before? Uh, I've done a couple of Tiffany lamps and I did a Tiffany window that was here for months. And um, the fella bought the window in at an auction apparently down in Los Angeles. Had it shipped up here and they put it in a truck and they had it all crated up. They, they never tied it down. So when they took off, the box fell over. And when it arrived, the guy just flipped out and uh, He's a client I've had for a long time, and we got together, and, and the, the company that made the glass for Tiffany is still around, so it's, it's different in its style a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty close. Because the other day we're able to create it. So I was able to put it all back together again for them. It was, uh, it looked, it looked bad when it came in, it was... Uh, I'm David Arnone. Business is our known glass art. I've been doing sandblasted glass since 1978, so uh, a little over 30 years. It's been uh, it's been an interesting process, and I'm still learning new things after all this time. You know, I'm still experimenting with new, new techniques and um, playing around. This is uh, a carved grape leaf and grape cluster. It was carved from the front surface. So the background grapes were done first, building it up to the foreground. And uh, just a nice little detail on a wine cellar door. The, the white uh, sandblast material is called resist, it's a vinyl. I actually put a second layer on so that it would be more durable, which is better for the carbon because it can break down and then you get these little tiny sparkles. That, that can happen. It depends on the design. Some take longer than others. Uh, there have been projects where I've been in the sand blasting booth for days. But, uh, it didn't take too long, so it's just 